Does a big throttle body always make power? Let's find out. Hey guys, check out this test I did comparing a 92 millimeter throttle body to a 102 millimeter throttle body on a factory LS3 manifold. So how did I get the 102 to work on the factory LS3 manifold when it's only a 92 millimeter opening? Easy, I used an adapter that steps up from 92 to 102. The question now is, did the bigger throttle body with the adapter make any power? Hello everybody, Richard Holder here for Speed Secrets. Today, working with our friends from FAST, we're gonna talk about airflow. And not just any airflow, throttle body airflow. Now there's a lot of misconceptions out there about intake manifolds and throttle bodies. When we test a FAST manifold against a factory manifold, a lot of people think that the power gains offered by the FAST manifold over a factory manifold come from the larger throttle body. While it's true that the FAST LSXR and LSXRT run a 102 millimeter throttle body and the largest factory throttle body is 90 millimeters, but the power gains offered by the FAST manifold over a factory manifold don't come from the larger throttle body. How do we know? We set up a test. To test the effect of throttle body size, we set up the following test. We installed an LY6 up on the dyno. Now that LY6 featured rectangular port LS3 style heads and a factory LS3 intake. To improve the power output of our test motor, we installed a healthy comp cam. That 54-469-11 cam from comp cams featured a 617-624 lift split, a 231-247 degree duration split, and a 113 degree lobe separation angle. By pushing the power output higher on our LY6, we were able to tax the flow of those throttle bodies. To get things started, we ran our LY6 with a factory LS3 intake and a 92 millimeter fast big mouth throttle body. In addition to the 92 and 102 millimeter throttle bodies, fast also supplied a set of coil packs and 75 pound injectors. Run first with the 92 millimeter throttle body, our modified six liter produced 546 horsepower at 6,600 RPM and 494 foot pounds of torque at 5,200. Now that we'd run the 92, it's time to step up to the 102. Installation of the larger 102 millimeter throttle body required an adapter. You see the opening in the factory LS3 intake measured 92 millimeters and was perfect for our previous 92 millimeter throttle body. Installation of the larger 102 required this adapter that tapered out from 92 millimeters out to 102 millimeters. After installation of the adapter and larger throttle body, we ran our six liter once again up on the dyno. As you can see from the power curves, installation of that 102 millimeter throttle body had no effect on power. The peak numbers changed by less than one horsepower and less than one foot pound, meaning no change at all. Now don't get us wrong, a larger throttle body does indeed improve airflow, but to take advantage of that airflow, you have to have a throttle opening in your intake to accept that throttle body. Once the airflow gets past the big throttle body and big throttle opening, that's where the magic happens. Things like plenum volume, taper, and runner length. You see, while the bigger throttle body does help, it's usually the intake doing most of the heavy lifting. I'm Richard Holder, that's all the time I have. I wanna thank the guys at Fast. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.